Hello and welcome to another lockdown edition of Chewing the Cud. We're still using the power of modern technology to come at you virtually to bring you all of the showbiz news, fun things from the internet and of course we wouldn't be doing it right if we weren't doing it with a lockdown lesson. But now it's time to talk to the man who had questionable taste in teenage pinup. it's Lee. There was nothing wrong with having a laminated picture of the Pope on my wall. He was an attractive man <laughs> and, a, and a caring man, he was, yes. But why was it laminated is the question we all have. It preserved the, the, the image of, <laughs> of, of his holiness. That is all I'm going to say. Anyway, I have okay. some fantastic showbiz news coming up, including the return of a famous cartoon strongman. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm here with some fun things that I've found on the internet, including how a museum has been getting a little bit cheeky. You can keep up with us on all the usual social media outlets. So Twitter, Instagram, Facebook at The Could TV. Our website is thecud.tv. And if you want to listen to us as a podcast, why would you not just look for Chewing The Cud? And if you've recently clicked, liked or commented on our Facebook, Twitter or Instagram, you might see your name scrolling across the bottom of the screen right now. Oh, hello, you beautiful people. <laughs> nice. Oh. Oh. Mike, are you ready? I, I'm quietly confident I'm going to smash it. Hasn't happened previously, but let's try it this week. Game of the Week. The producer can't be with us again this week as he is still training to work on the fish counter at the local supermarket. Later he's going round to the home of the fishmonger where he says he will show him his muscles and how to fill it. So while that's happening, he's asked us to help with some viewer queries by completing these helpful hints. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what we need to do here, Lee, is just fill the gap. Why do we Why do we even bother having the producer? It's week after week. It sends us this list of stuff to do, whether he's fingering fish and all that kind of stuff. I, I you know, I, know. I, I don't know where we're don't know where we're up to with it. I, I don't know. I don't even know why we have him anymore. Um, but shall we try and fill his gap anyway? <laughs> we, we We can only hope we can. Too much something stunts your growth. Hmm. Too much love. Stunt your growth. <laughs> um, <laughs> what kind of love stunts your growth, Lee? <laughs> I was thinking along the lines of the meatloaf song. Is it a meatloaf song? Too much love can kill you. But if you're lucky, it'll know. only stunt your growth. <laughs> <laughs> Is that really a lyric? <laughs> I, I've added that bit at the end, but too much love can oh, right. kill you. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> too much sunlight stunts your growth. Oh. Should, should, we, ha should we have a look? Should, should we look at that likely, see if that's likely? <laughs> <laughs> oh, too much coffee stunts really? your growth. I presume wow. it must be when you're a child. The, you know, uh, if you you know pound that <laughs> coffee, then you you'll you'll be a Jeanette cranky. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Sitting too close to your blank will make you go blind. Sitting too close to so, sitting too close to your will make you go blind. There's no your in it. It's just sitting. Okay, no sitting close to too, too close okay, to we'll make, something will make, we'll you, make go you go blind. blind. Sitting too close. Ooh, Paul O'Grady. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sitting too close to a naked flame will make you go blind. <laughs> <laughs> and burn you. <laughs> oh, sitting too close I, to a television. Oh, that's what your parents used to say, isn't it? If you sit there, yeah, that television, you'll go oh, you'll blind. Get, you'll get square oh, eyes. You'll get square mm. eyes. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, sorry, my chicken went off by accident then. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> most of your body heat is lost through your what? Ah, most bottom. of your b bottom. bottom. Most because of your... if you think about it, when if you're on a cold day and you have a little bit of a pump, you leave a little cloud behind. Little, little vapor little, cloud. Little, little, little vapor cloud. Of, a little cloud of poo. <laughs> 
Most of your body heat is lost through your big flapping gums. That's what I'm oh. going to go for. Yeah. <laughs> Can we have a look? <laughs> oh, your, your head. head. I was close. I was close. Oh, I wasn't yeah. far off with bottom. Something will leave you blind and give you hairy palms. Janet Street Porter. <laughs> um, um, I'm going to say self-tanning. Self-tanning? Too much self-tanning will leave you blind and give you hairy palms. It's the ingredients in the chemicals. Oh, OK. Oh, oh, oh well, I, 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 I didn't think we were... I didn't think we were allowed to say that word, so I wouldn't have said it. So, yes, I've got perfect eyesight, honestly. Yeah, and I only have to brush my palms once a day, so <laughs> I don't understand it. <laughs> Peeing on blank will relieve pain. Am I allowed to Peeing... say Janet Street Porter again? <laughs> I'm going to go... No, yeah, I'm going to go with Boris Johnson. Peeing on Boris Johnson will relieve pain. The whole country's pain. <laughs> Let's have a look to see if that's right. <laughs> A, a jellyfish, jellyfish sting. sting. Uh, oh. and here, I know a little bit of an interesting thing about that. That's not true. It's not sea true. Seawater is the best thing to get rid of a, of a jelly. Seawater. Yeah. Okay. Seawater. Wash it, wash it with seawater. You don't need to be peed upon, unless you want to get peed mm. upon and use it as an excuse. No. That's, no. I'm not some here to judge. Some, some people could say that seawater is the Earth's pee, couldn't they? Because it, it's, yeah... Because it's salty. <laughs> Tumbleweed. <laughs> um, we ate eight blank a year in our sleep. Toblerones. <laughs> hmm. <I'm good. laughs> Can I say Janet's report trigger? <laughs> no! <laughs> um, I think we eat eight pubic hairs. Yours or somebody else's? Because my, my beard is a pubic hair. I'm sure someone oh. falls into my mouth at night. Oh, okay, spiders. Yeah. yeah. Oh, spi oh. Oh, that's not nice, is it? Oh. Spiders carrying Toblerones is perfectly fine, um, but not just an ordinary <laughs> spider. <laughs> if wallpaper is soiled, it may be refreshed by rubbing it lightly with blank. Noob. A boob. Lube. Lube. Oh, I thought you said boob. Um, <laughs> no, no. They're slightly different <laughs> things. <Lee. laughs> uh, um, <laughs> I'm going to say if, if wallpaper is soiled, it might be refreshed by rubbing it lightly with Joey Essex. Just his face. <laughs> <laughs> Just Joey Essex's face. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Let's see if I'm right. Oh, I was right. A piece, a piece of, of bread. bread. Joey Essex, yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, no. Bread has got a lot more taste and interest to it. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, that that is something. I, I'm going to go and try that. I've got lots of soiled wallpaper in my house. Um, I'll, I'll... <laughs> lots of bread, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> uh, so I'll, I'll get back to you on that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Eliminate ants and earwigs by sprinkling blank in your crevices. Sugar. Sugar. <laughs> the hopes and dreams of small children. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, I, 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 I don't really... Epsom salts. What are Epsom, Epsom salts? Did we go back to the I, 1940s for this one? <laughs> I know what an Epsom printer is. Oh. But I'm not sure what a salt is. You'd never is. get one of those in a crevice, would you? <laughs> Clean blank from the bottom upwards... To avoid runs of dirty water, your gusset areas. Yes, <laughs> we've both gone for the same area. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, clean your gusset from the bottom upwards to, av to avoid yes. runs of dirty water. <laughs> mm. Clean walls from the bottom upwards to avoid runs uh -huh. of dirty water. Oh, okay. I'm learning a lot. Do we do we need to do we need to check where we are with points, I, or I do we not we'll care? No. There's no point. There's no this point. Week. It's just the joy no. of, of this. Just the joy of living. Blank dipped in paraffin will penetrate wood more easily. Cheryl well. Cole. Cheryl Cole. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> dipped in a in, in a couple of layers of paraffin, she'll go right through that front door. And and then and then flick lit matches at her. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um 
I think a a small avocado oh. dipped in paraffin would get through wood more easily. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay, let's see. See who 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 is right, who is wrong. I don't think there is a wrong or right answer to this. Screws. Screws. Oh. oh. So, so if you're screwing, okay. dip it in paraffin first. Apparently. Right. Yes. Well, I think I think we learned many many valuable things there. Yeah. Still to come, we will be giving you another one of our amazing lockdown lessons. And you could try and stick your whole fist in your mouth, or you could hang around because coming up next it's Lee with the showbiz news. Does that look threatening? (laughs) (laughs) Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Now it's time for the man who, actually due to a court injunction, I'm not allowed to say anything other than it's Lee with the showbiz news. Innocent until proven guilty. That's all I'm going to mm-hmm. say in the eyes of the law. Mm-hmm. So let's have a little bit of let's have a little bit of showbiz news. The first bit of showbiz news we've got this 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 week is about another Disney remake. So we've had Ooh. Beauty and the Beast that was was remade mm-hmm. with with real actors, real actors with human actors instead of <laughs> with real people, with real feelings. Um, and then we had um, we had the Lion King, which wasn't real people with real feelings, but it was real people's voices. Um, I'm, I'm going somewhere uh, with this. <laughs> pretty much like pretty much like the original, yeah, uh, but Lion King uh, yeah. with real people's voices. Yeah, uh, and, then, and then we had Aladdin. It seems that Disney are remaking live versions of of all their um, classic uh, cartoon films. So the next one that is up for um, remake is Hercules, the story of Hercules. (laughs) The the, the Greek uh, story. (laughs) (laughs) The story of an attractive man who finally gets everything he wants, yeah. Yeah, I've never seen Hercules. I kind of stopped at The Little Mermaid. That was my kind of, I reached my pinnacle. I can't believe that. Mm, yeah, um, yeah. I can, I can see you getting transfixed with Ursula from the Little Mermaid. Yeah, I, 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 our producer is saying that he stopped with Steamboat Willie. He's still on with Steamboat Willie. Um, what, so, I was going to say, well, <laughs> you what changed there? Gets him um, so they are looking at casting for Hercules the live action remake, and uh, oh. as per usual, there's lots and lots of rumours. People on Twitter are going for Ariana Grande as the, um, the the female lead. Ariana Grande, not known for her acting ability, though. Well, voice, yes. But you know, acting. she does, she does, mm. she does videos and stuff. She was a she was a, a Disney well, she, star. She, she sings and points. She started it's... off as a an actress in in Disney. I'm doing that with my hands, and I don't know why. She? Um, she's she, so yeah. So she has acting experience. Um, other names have been oh, okay. have been suggested as, as Harry Styles as Hercules, um, and no. mm, th- there is a, a slight resemblance, kind of, um, yeah. to to Hercules. Um, nothing has been set in so. Yeah. I mean, he has done some acting. He was he was in the that World War Two film in the X Factor. Yeah. Uh, he was in the X Factor. Yeah, um, <laughs> and then but the kind of high highlight of the film is the muses the the three kind of singing mm-hmm. ladies and um people like yeah. um janelle monet and jennifer hudson and lizzo mm-hmm. have been um kind of touted however there's a there's a, an online okay. campaign to get um five mm-hmm. um gay men to be cast as the the muses they have done this amazing um youtube clip of them singing a medley from hercules um and it's amazing oh. These guys um, are American and they've done this amazing uh, medley of songs and Twitter and social media have got behind saying you should audition them for the role of the muses, which would be really good. We're going to move on to some more cartoon news. Were you a Scooby-Doo fan? Oh, a little bit of Scooby-Doo. 
I, just I, I, I fell out. I fell out of it with Scrappy Doo. Yeah, nobody likes Scrappy Doo. It was great up until yeah. they introduced Scrappy Doo, and then it was horrific. Um, but um, so Scooby Doo started in the 1960s, it, it's, and it's still being made today. So Ooh. in different versions, they're still making Scooby Doo. But if you remember back in right. the kind of like late 90s, early noughties, they mm. made li- live action versions of, of Scooby Doo with mm-hmm. um, yeah. Sarah Michelle Gellar and her husband Freddie mm-hmm. Prinze Jr. Matthew Lillard played um, <laughs> um, Shaggy, um, but oh. apparently the director who oh. who made those films said that originally Velma was supposed to be gay, oh. and he'd written the script. I can believe that. That saying that Velma was gay. Are you, can you believe that? Do, do you get a, do you get a, do you get a gay vibe yeah. from Velma? Do you? I never. I, I, I get. I get a gay vibe from Velma, yeah. Oh, right, okay. Well, he, he said that, yeah, yeah, that's what he wanted, but the studio were not interested. They kind of went, mm. no, we don't think people are ready for that. And, and certain scenes were filmed that insinuated that, that, mm. Velma, that Velma was gay, um, but they, they completely dropped it. Yeah. Um, and um, there's kind of a bit of um, uh, um, a thing going on, on on social media where people are saying, oh, release the, the original versions of these films with mm. that LGBTQ content put in. Um, and that would be quite interesting. Yeah. I, I, I liked Velma. Say, yeah, let her come out. Let her come out, yeah, with Spongebob. It would be let great. Her come yeah. out. You'll guarantee that no matter what happened, it's, there was always three things that would happen in Scooby-Doo. One was that... Mm. Velma would lose her glasses and she'd go, my glasses, my glasses, I can't see without my glasses. Um, Scooby-Doo would have a mm-hmm. massive snack and then ram it in his face. And at the end, they uh-huh. would pull the head off the monster and he would go, if it wasn't for you perishing kids, I would have gotten away with it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was it. Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, it, 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 it was a formula, it worked. It worked, it was good. Um, yeah, having the same thing week in, week out always works. Mm, repetitive. It's a bit like us really, isn't it? Yeah, same, same old yeah. Todd week in, week out. <laughs> What so so you got the gay vibe mm-hmm. from Velma? I always got the gay vibe mm-hmm. from Freddie with his neck scarf. That that although he kind well, of got, was supposed was to that wishful thinking. <laughs> I always I I never I never believed that he was going out with Daphne. I totally thought she was his beard. Yeah, yeah. Um, mm, possibly. Mm. I mean, with all these remakes of cartoons and things, I, I think it's time we had Thundercats back. Uh, well, they, didn't they remake it? Didn't they redo it again? Yeah, but I want a, I want a live action because, you know, all the Thundercats were, were very well well built. You just want to see bodybuilders in masks, don't you? You can get that yeah. on special channels <laughs> that you've probably got. They're not even that special. You've probably got them bookmarked. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> what, kind of, what kind of cartoons do you think couldn't be made today, Lee? What are you thinking about? Pretty it? much Cause... any, like Tom and Jerry, that would definitely wouldn't be able to be made now because yeah, of the violence in it. Um, mm-hmm. and... and Roadrunner then. Mm. Yeah. So our final bit of showbiz news is about theatre. Mm-hmm. Well, theatre. We're going a bit highbrow. The theatre. Yeah. So yeah, theater. over theater. lockdown, theatres were closed. They're now um, starting mm-hmm. to open. Um, and But during lockdown, um, they've been having to come mm-hmm. up with sort of novel ways of trying to get people to kind of interact with them on social media. So we've had things like plays being streamed and um, that mm-hmm. kind of stuff. There was there was a um, an opera house in Italy, I think, who put a performance on mm-hmm. to a, an entire um, audience was made up of house plants. They were all sat in, the ch- in their seats and um, they listened mm-hmm. and they played music to them and then those plants were given to hospitals afterwards. A bit strange, not quite sure. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Um, so, yeah, um, so I, I saw that. It was, actually, it was actually Spain and they were giving the plants to care workers oh. that worked in the... Um, over the pandemic ah, as a way of saying thank yeah. you. I'm sure a pay rise would have been nicer. Huh? Yeah, well, than, than a plant mm-hmm. that, that, yeah. it was. I saw it. No, they didn't make any noise. They didn't, they mm. didn't like, rustle or anything. They just sort of, just, yeah, <laughs> just that. Plants not sat there clapping no, at the end it, of the act. It would be, it would be very disconcerting very, if, if when rude. they went back to them, they'd all died and gone brown. <laughs> that wouldn't have been a, a, yeah. a, good, a, a good sort of feedback. Anyway, this, um, this, the BBC have, have commissioned um, ballet. Mm. Are they called troops or are they called what? What companies? companies. So they. So BBC has commissioned ballet, company. uh, ballet companies um, across the world to reenact mm. or create Swan Lake, but in their homes mm. using their baths 
and um, if they have a pool, right. they're swimming pools. So um, we've got some pictures okay. on the screen of um, some photographs of them taken in the bathrooms reenacting Swan Lake. So that's pretty much how I take bath anyway, like that. Not like that. I, I don't look it. like that in the bath. <laughs> not in the fetal position. No, I'm not no. in the fetal <laughs> position. Um, and it's fascinating because they they have recreated it all. Um, some of them have got swimming pools. Some of them have got baths. Some of them have got, yeah, look at that gentleman there. He's, he's, yeah. yeah. So I'm enjoy, I'm You're enjoying, enjoying that, yeah. Yeah, there's one where it's yeah. covered in, in feathers, um, which wouldn't have gone down well mm -hmm. down the plug hole. We've got a little bit of a clip of it for us to have a look at um, um, that's playing now. Just see it, just an arm and a leg waving. And a leg. Uh, mm, oh, what is the music? That's actually that. What does the music of um, the Swan Lake? Swan Lake. Da, 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 da. Oh, yeah. It, they, now that looks a bit oh, disturbing. Look, so that's. Oh, but yeah. It's 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 interesting that the that, that they're all in the nip as well. Yes. Oh no, he's got pants on. Yeah, he's it, he's put a little bit of radox in. in his bath, hasn't he, to to ease those. It's very blue water. Those, yeah, yeah, to ease those tired muscles. So they're they're performing the main theme from Tchaikovsky's Swan Lake, uh, from their respective Ooh. bathtubs. Um, and yeah, I'm I'm all for that. I'm. I'm thinking that's quite good. I I often do the hokey cokey mm. in the bath. Mm. Oh, do you really? I do. Yeah. Well, well, I was, was wondering how, where you put your left leg into. But okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's great. <laughs> I, I urge you all to try it. And that is the end of this week's showbiz news. Thanks for that, Lee. Coming up, don't forget that we've got the next of our thrilling lockdown lessons. And coming up after the break is Mike with the buzz. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. And now it's time to go over to the man who has a GCSE in Hide the Sausage. It's Mike Benny and Rowe with The Buzz. It's an A star as well. Ooh. Just, you know, just to gloat. I have been digging around the internet quite a lot this past week and have found some fun and, and slightly unusual things. Now, during lockdown, a lot of people were keeping very busy tinkering about the house and trying to make their abodes a little bit more habitable. What were, you do were you doing that sort of thing, Lee? I have shot my wad of glitter over many surfaces during lockdown. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh. Now, a lot of people have been doing DIY, and some people have found really interesting things about their homes that they didn't know before. I've managed to find a couple here. Um, the first one... As someone was digging up the floor, they found a bathtub underneath their, their living room floor. Oh, that's that's it, unusual. It's a, <laughs> it's a tiled bathtub, and it looks like it's got jacuzzi jets in it as well. That's that, so. Somebody obviously thought, "I don't want this bathtub anymore. Let's just cover it over," and that's what they did. Let's just cover it over. Oh. And that's what they did. Um, I, I, having a, a bathtub in your living room is a little bit unusual. Where which country is it from? Do we know? No. Uh, this is American, I it's believe. It's American. Ah, uh, well, I, I kind of... Yeah. Yeah, I, I believe. Uh, uh, what would be more... No, I'm not going to say more exciting, but, but more mm. macabre would be if they unveiled it and there was um, a skeleton in there wearing a pair of swimming trunks. <laughs> As someone was pulling up their old carpet, they found someone had someone else had painted a full Monopoly board Ooh. on the floor. Wow. And that's not like some shunky old bit of painting. That's like properly really well done yeah, yeah like lines so, and everything imagine imagine the family arguments you could have around that monopoly set mm, i think there was naked <laughs> monopoly going on life-size naked naked monopoly. swingers monopoly how would you play naked monopoly <laughs> you would be the actual little cat well, like the iron and the little car uh -huh. but you would be naked yeah. and have it written on okay. your chest <laughs> <laughs> so that's the it's not that sexy time kind of naked monopoly it's just you you a naked piece <laughs> yeah i haven't thought it yes, through the... properly but yeah <laughs> would you like to take a chance mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah 
do not pass go, do not collect £200, go straight to jail and you're naked. Mm. And then the last one that I found here, as someone's peeling off their wallpaper, they found someone else had painted a beautiful mural on the wall. Oh, you see, that looks nice, oh. but from where I'm sitting, it looks nice. Is there something weird about it mm. close up? Is there like somebody like <laughs> cracking one out or something on it? Or... <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just a nice picture. Oh. Yeah. It's just something lovely. <laughs> it's just something lovely. Yeah. <laughs> just something lovely. After your naked uh, Monopoly rant, I thought, we'll get something lovely on. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if these people kept these things or whether they just went, ooh, and splapped up a bit of paint on them. Well, I'd, I think I'd kept the mu- mural mm. and the Monopoly board. Do, but have I you... don't think I'd have kept the indoor... The indoor jacuzzi. End up in jacuzzi. You yeah. you have bought a house for yourself. Um, uh, uh, yes, I have. How well done you? Well done you. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> bravo, bravo. I, put, I, gave, I gave the bank some money. Have and they you gave found some anything and... under walls or beneath wallpaper or flagstones in the garden? Have you found anything in your abode? Um, well, I had a rummage up in the loft because I have a loft space, mm. and I found nineteen. LPs, I believe they're called, so records oh. from the 80s, oh. which is when the house was built. Wow. I, I introduced my housemate, who's only 25, oh. to the world of 80s music. Was he slightly he scared of, of it? Was he slightly scared mm. of a vinyl record? Because that's, you know, that's not been seen before for somebody of his age. Is it like... Exactly, yeah. He, he, he wondered why they had big CDs. Oh. Mm. Oh. Oh, nice. Oh, well, thank you for sharing that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no problem. Um, now, as we've all been in lockdown, we've got to keep ourselves entertained, haven't we, Lee? Yes, we do, Mike. Yeah. Now, some people have been keeping them entertain- themselves entertained in different ways, mm. as there's been a raft of announcements about quarantine babies. Oh. People found out that they they hadn't they'd bought lots of personal protective equipment, but not quite every kind that they needed. Okay. Do you need more than one at um, once? Well, you can have a face mask and then you can have another kind of covering, shall we oh, say? Yeah, I, th- I thought, yeah, yes. okay. Yeah. Yes. Um, I, and people have, have taken the, the light side of it because you're locked at home. Why not make, make light of it? Why not make babies? <laughs> well, they've already done that. Um, our one happy couple shared a, a picture of the scans and a baby onesie saying... Well played, quarantine. Okay. <laughs> Are they having twins or is it two pictures? No, that was the first picture. Oh. That's, oh, yeah, it's two sc- yeah, so just some scans. Just some, some scans. Okay. Just some scans. And that small little odd blob is apparently a small human being developed. <laughs> a blob. <laughs> A blob, a blob. It it becomes a person eventually. Hmm. And then the the next one, someone shared a, a, their existing child with Big Bro and a little sign saying, social distancing fail, baby number two due December 2020. It's not illegal well, though, is it? It's not, they didn't say no, you can't, you, neon home. you can't do rumpity pumpity. You can't fornicate. No, yeah. you, you know, it's no. not like they lived in separate house. Well, you don't know really, do you? Oh, well, I, ho- I hope they've not broken mm. the law. Mm. Um, but I think Netflix, Amazon Prime, Disney Plus, lots mm. of other things you could get on with. Um, and then the last one that I thought was, was quite fun, um, you'd enjoy as well. It's a Friends theme. So Pregnant 2020, the one where we were quarantined. Oh, not on a break. Not on a break. Clearly. No. Um, or they might have been on a break. No. We don't know. You don't know what would what would you call if you if you had a child during mm. this time yeah. you conceived mm-hmm. just let's go there that okay, you could that conceive I've, 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 yeah. um, you're with child I'm with child what would you call your child I I would call my child Quarantina would you, would, I think that's a lovely name <laughs> you see I've always decided that I would if I had a child I would call my child a number would you yeah. so maybe what, six like or seven that's okay. is that is that is that related to Star Trek. Across the wars. Yeah, so seven is, so seven is seven of nine, or six from Blossom. So the 90s TV show Blossom. Oh, yeah, that was her best yes, friend, she wasn't friend she? Six. Yeah. She was really irritating. 
Oh, yeah, it was both were. It was Blossom. Yeah. It was the 90s. Everything was floral. Mm, Joey. Um, Joey Lawrence. Joey Lawrence. I would call my it, yes. just that, Joey Lawrence. Mm. Duke. I quite liked um, Joey Lawrence in that. Mm. Always wore a vest. Yeah, anyway. he did. What did he do? Um, he kind of went, hey. Or was that the Farms? That I'm was getting the Farms and that was Happy Days. It's a very different. So I think if I think we'll just move on from that one there, Lee. And if you see something that catches your eye on the internet, please do share it with us or with a Could TV on all of your social media outlets. Oh, speaking of which, this week our inbox has been flooded with an email Ooh. from Belinda Mycock. Oh, she's at it again. She's at it again. We asked her not to. And she writes... Dear Chewing the Cud, I would like to nominate your show for a Grammy. Yours, Mrs. Mycock. P.S. I'd like to sleep with Chris Hemsworth, but it's not likely to happen either. Oh. That was a bit rude, wasn't it? A bit of shade. That was from, a bit salty. From, um, yeah. From old Mycock there. Mm. Yeah. Well, the, the, well, Mrs. Mycock, I would also like to sleep with Chris Hemsworth and win a Grammy. So, thank you for your email. Mm. And that takes us to our story of the week. Uh, Yorkshire Museums, we've featured on the show before with their curator battle. Yes. Well, they've been at it again with the curator battle. And they shared a theme of best museum bums. Ooh. And what they did is they they shared a picture of their Roman marble statuette with it. Quite a a lovely pert bottom there. With a pert posterior. Ooh. it, yeah, yeah, it doesn't look... It look, what's that big chunk out of the left, right cheek? Is that... I wanted to I, I wanted to see whether it was um, a, a, an actual bottom. Oh. It's been a while. It's been a while. It's been a while. Yeah. 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 I'm, I'm Rubbing yourself dentist. up against Ben's statue. <laughs> <laughs> and the local no, just pack. taking a bite out of the oh, bottom. Oh, OK. OK, well, that's... As that, you do. As you do, Yeah. As you do. And then um, we've got one from Bernie Blackburn, which is showing the Walker Gallery's bottoms. They're, they're, they're nice lady bottoms, aren't they? <laughs> they're lady bottoms. Yeah. Yes. Pert there's, there's and a th- smooth. A, a trio of lady bottoms. Mm, yes. What would you call more than? Yeah. What do you, what do you, a bottomist. Yeah. Um, Bananarama, that's what I call them. <laughs> is it Bananarama? In yeah. Statue? And then the last one, was shared by um, Dr. Paula R. Curtis, which was, does this win for most gaseous bum? And actually showed some ladies um, breaking wind at people, just firing firing noxious gases at people to blow them away. <laughs> it's art, so it's fine. It's art. It, it, yes, that's why I keep saying it's art, it's allowed. And that's all that I've found in the buzz this week. Well, thank you very much for that, Mike. That was very entertaining and and very cheeky. And don't go anywhere, because after the break, we've got the reason we all get out of bed in the morning. It's our lockdown lesson. (laughs) Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. It's time to visit that old, 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 old friend, our lockdown lesson. Lockdown lessons. An old friend. An old an friend. Old friend. Yeah. Is it from Gabon? From Gabon. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So this week on our lockdown lesson, we're going to try a couple of home beauty treatments. I'm very oh. apprehensive about this. Shall we? <laughs> shall we? Shall we have a go at um, waxing our nostrils? That's an offer you've not had before, isn't it? Mm. That's not actually. I think it is actually. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, we're, we're, we're going. We're going to have. We're going to have a try at, at, at this, which is nose and facial wax kit for men okay. and women. Um, oh. Because not only do men have hairy nostrils, but women do too. Um, so Ooh. that's very important. So you have pre-prepared. We have both pre-prepared our our wax, haven't we? So the, uh, I, it's I not have, a, that's I not have a, my. You've my got your wax fluid. I have not. Fluid. That's, <laughs> that's not a sample. It's it's an actual wax. So in your pack that I have sent you, you should have mm-hmm. um, a little plastic doobery thing. 
that looks I have a, a bit like bondage thing. Um, yeah, it looks a bit like one of those things that you put in a cake and put a candle on. It looks a bit like a glue spreader from when you were a child. Mm, when you're yeah, not allowed well, to brush. Okay. <laughs> when you're not allowed to brush. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you're not allowed a prit stick. You still have to use the spreader, you child. Um, so, take your... Um, um, your plastic doohickey and um, doohickey. The, the, the bit at the end that looks like a tiny little winky. Yeah, I'm going to say winky. Um, you want to dip... Winky. Yeah, you want to dip that into mm. your... Um, Hot fluid. Your fluid and, and kind of get a bit of, of the wax coating on the end. Okay. Okay, I have Ooh. wax on. Right, you've got wax on. <laughs> so, um, do... Oh, I'm really dreading this. Do you have a preference for nostril? Um, I am going to do my right nostril. You're going to do your right nostril. I, am, I mm -hmm. too, am going to go for right nostril. So, oh, okay. what we have to do is insert the waxy end... Mm -hmm. Into now it has it has a little uh, stopping point so you can't shove it all the way into your brain. Um, okay. So let let's do that. Oh my goodness, I don't. So just pop that into a nostril, do I? Just pop it into your nostril. <laughs> um, oh, attractive. Um, and then what oh, we it smells have... bad. <laughs> you've you've got to hold it for a for a twenty seconds or so, and okay. um, <laughs> um, yeah. The, the wax is going to. Um, hey, wait, have you got? Have you only got the tip in? Just the tip. It's all I can manage. You need to get, oh, you need to get more than the tip in. So <laughs> you're going to um, um, press your finger to the side of your nostril that's not got the wax in. Uh huh. Get hold of the flat bit at the bottom. Yep. And after three, quickly uh -huh. pull it out. Okay. One. Two, two, three, three. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, I don't, I don't think I did it properly. <laughs> did you get any hair out? No, but I think there's a bogey on the end. I'm not quite sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. That, I, hmm. I got, I got a hair out. So I a think single do, hair. A single okay. hair. I think we need to do that again with the oh. other side. Oh. Oh, you. So but what if my brain it? comes out? We won't notice, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, get a good gloopy bit, I think. I'm getting a bit of a big gloopy blob on it. I've got a big gloopy blob that time. Oh, look at the size of that gloopy goodness. Oh, that. It's like um, co cotton candy. Cotton right. candy? Cotton candy. candy. Right. Oh, I don't want to do it again. Right. Oh no! I've got it on my beard. I've put it on the other the other nostril. I obviously don't want an unbalanced. Okay. So let's wait twenty seconds. Make so, sure are you going on holiday anywhere nice this year? <laughs> um, I don't really know. I've Arr. got a little bit of a beard though, so I'm slightly concerned it might rip out some of my face hair. Oh, you see, nose hair isn't attractive, is it? It's not. You know, it's, it's not a. Not. It's not a good. Which is like why I'm all the rest of my face. Yeah. 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 Uh, right. Okay, I'll just add in my ear that 20 seconds is up. Let's try this. So, <laughs> press it down at okay. that side. Ready? Get yeah. a hold of the flat. One, One two, two, three. three. Ah! ah, fuck! <laughs> Did it hurt? Did that hurt? No! no. It was fine! It was fine. I, I, I must have very, very clear nostrils because there's nothing on mine. It also took a part of my beard away. Oh. It, took, it got my top lip, so I got a, a surrounded um, uh, a thing, yes. Um, mm. I don't think anyone wants to see this, do they? No. No, you hold it up. Hold, it up. To see hold this. it up. Hold it up. Oh, get rid of it. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Take it. <laughs> it's, it isn't Dr. Pimple Popper. We don't want to see the insides <laughs> of your nostrils. Oh, dear. <laughs> but on the plus side, I can... My hay fever feels a little better today. Does that. it? Oh, oh wow! Well, well that, I think that that I think we could call that a success. Shall we move from our nostrils down to our lips, the lips on our face? Okay. Oh, okay. 
Yes. Do you, have you ever have you ever thought, oh god, I wish I had a massive pair of lips, a massive pair of of <laughs> of, of plump, juicy lips? I like, no, I, I quite like my lips. My lips are quite lovely. Do you? Well, um, yes. Yeah, you know, celebrities pay a You're fortune going to, to make have me do something weird. Yeah, I am. Like celebrities. Yeah pay a fortune to have their lips plumped up but you don't need mm-hmm. to, to to have things injected into your lips um i don't know okay. why I can, every time i say lips it makes me feel a little bit uncomfortable lips so i have sent you a a a, a little squeezy plastic fish it is um, a lip pump that's lip pump um right so what I you have to do is something else okay take take your li- take your pump out take your little fish out it's quite cute, to be fair. It's quite quite cute. So, <laughs> do you know what it looks like? Do you know what it looks like? It looks like the Muppets. Let's just do this. <laughs> that works as a thing. thing. Yeah. Yes, that's a brilliant yeah. 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 It's great. Right. So, what you need to do is you need to make your lips moist. So, just lick them or think about Zac Efron. Whatever, whatever works to make those lips moist. Right, my lips are moist, right? Okay. Now, squeeze the um, squeeze the fish down, okay, fish and down. then place its mouth mm-hmm. over your lips. So, and then take your fingers off, <laughs> and it will suck your lips into its body, okay. And then, and, and then you kind of pump it. Pump, 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 like that. And it should make your lips um, full. So. Uh, <laughs> Mine's not holding on. It's, it must be my facial hair. It's, it's breaking the vacuum. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it's just, it's just making a noise. That doesn't work for me. Has it mm. worked? Are my lips bigger? No. 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 I've lost sensation in my top lip. Yeah, let's just, just have a quick one. <laughs> yep. Well, now that works. Oh. Oh. Go on. I found a new thing there. Um, yes. So that... <laughs> that that brings us to the awkward end of this week's <laughs> lockdown lesson. Thanks, Lee, for that wonderful lesson. I need air quotes for wonderful there, don't I? And in fact, our last lockdown lesson. Next week, we'll be bringing something new and exciting. And finally, our picture of the week comes from Mr. Danish Cumberbund, who has sent us a dick pic. He saw that he saw Shane. (laughs) He saw Shane Rich's dick at the Hammersmith Odeon. His lasting memory was ha- just how long it was. By the time we got out of the theatre, Mrs. Cumberbund said that she had seen enough dick to last a lifetime as she went well. to bed with an aspirin. Do you have a dick pic you'd like to share? Get in touch with us on our socials at uh, The Cud TV. Our website is thecud.tv. Um, and while you're on the website, have a look at our support section uh, to find out how you can get exclusive outtakes um, and content. Thanks for that, Lee. That's all we've got time for today. We've got just enough time to tell you that next week is our 100th episode. (gasps) So we've got lots of exciting and fun things to share with you. Thanks for watching, and we will see you all again next time. Bye. Bye!